All of this. We have access to all of this. This is our kingdom of dreams, in a manner of speaking, I suppose. I don't know where I'm going with this, I just want an intro for this video. Welcome to Mana's Potion! My name is Mitchell, but you may call me Mana. Last time, in Cloud Built, welcome back to Cloud Built, by the way, we beat Desperation and Desire. Two Defiance DLC levels. This time, we're gonna tackle Nostalgia. And it seems to be that my nostalgia is on fire. Why does this feel so weirdly familiar? This level was the second of the Defiance levels that I beat my first time playing through the Defiance DLC levels in Super Cloud Bill. And oh boy, it's a doozy. The fire does not actually hurt you, it's there for aesthetics. Don't need to pick up your uh, extra checkpoint and stuff. But this level already incorporates the bounce pads, which we saw in the storm uh, defiance level. So it's just more reiteration on that for right now. So with that said, let's do some high-speed parkour. The level itself, much like the other defiance levels, is going to test you. So remember, stay patient. Slow down if you need to, look around if you need to, and above all else, checkpoint as you feel. Because remember, that's a resource you've got to spend. Oh yeah, uh, and this level will just like f***ing hurl you a million miles an hour <laughs> language mana. It's an experience, you just have to be ready for it. So, um, uh, again, remember that failure is something that can and will happen with these levels. Excuse you, I'm busy looking at something. Oh right, that one. Okay. Got it. We good! Hell yeah! And again, to get checkpoints in order to, like, go through the level, you have to go through challenges. So sometimes those challenges look like they will skip past other aspects of the level. So, uh, do them wisely. And do them safely. And don't be discouraged if things don't go your way the first go-around. I'm saying all these reminders because they're reminders that I had to, like, learn the hard way playing through these levels my first go. We're fine, but I don't have a lot of boost. But we're on an infinite boost wall. No, uh oh. Saved it. Okay, got them both. There is a life pickup here. Remember, infinite boost wall. Take advantage of that fact. Alright, in Super Cloud Built, this area was actually quite a bit different, if I remember rightly. Or I might be thinking of a later Defiance level. This is all gonna culminate into one Super level, if you didn't already figure that out. Nope, I remember this. So I like to do this to get across here, because, um... I just don't want to deal with that angle right there. And hey, if it works... Freaking do it, then. <laughs> Ooh, oh right, physics. Physics is a thing. I'm gonna checkpoint here. Uh, partly because the end of the level's right there, but we've got a number of challenges to get through first. One of them is this one. Which I've already botched a little bit, but we made it. Pick your door, pick your fate. That's that's not great. I ran out of bullets. The left door will fling you over there, which I think you can pick up a checkpoint if you're uh, quick enough. So, you know, uh, good adventures go left, I guess. Oh no, this is the way you're supposed to go. 
there is a checkpoint over there that I might want to consider grabbing for here. Okay, I see how to get there. You! I require your cooperation in not being here. Sorry. Grab that. Boost up. Easy. Good stuff. The reason I grabbed that is because up there is a little bit tricky. Is a tricky series of like wall parkouring that may get the better of me, and I'd like to have a checkpoint at this part. Well, it probably will get the better of me if I waste energy like that. Okay. Aha! Defying my own expectations. Well done, me. Okay, so this is an instance where you can either do the wall run, or you can be a clever minx and just do a super boost. Oh, good. I was going to say, I know how to combat you, so I'm not worried. Oh, right, that's the final stretch to the level. Um, this is a risky spot to checkpoint, but I'm going to do this out of safety. Remember, we're going to have to practice how to do the firing thing. Glad that still worked. Nope. And that's our end of level. Did I? I didn't die a single time on this level, did I? Huh. Well, that was fast and I made that look really easy. This is no longer who I am. This path, these thoughts are an attempt to give me hope. Trying to live on my nostalgia and the naive worldview I had back then. It's not all wrong, but can I simply rely on these old ideas? I'm sure if I tell myself this over and over, I will eventually believe in it. That is how we humans work. We can choose to believe, but now that I'm aware of it, I do kind of like how that one is less just flat out rejection of this route and is more like this doesn't seem entirely healthy. This is no longer who I am. This path, these thoughts are an attempt to give me hope. Trying to live on my nostalgia and the naive worldview I had back then. It's not all wrong, but can I simply rely on these old ideals? I'm sure if I tell myself this over and over, I will eventually believe in it. That is how we humans work. We can choose to believe. But now that I'm aware of it, do I really want to continue down this path? Good question. Well, there is definitely one defiance level I want to do. And do it. And just basically never think about that route again because of how sad it ends up being. And that's expectations. And this level. This fucking level. I'm gonna censor that language, Mana. Mm, I've got a bone to pick with this one. This section is a pain in the butt. But the section before it is an even bigger pain in the butt. We'll see why. It has my favorite well, second favorite of the entire game. Uh, set of challenges leading up to these things that I'm talking about. But it also has my least favorite. First and foremost, it introduces a new mechanic. Drain floors. These floors will completely drain your energy. You cannot boost while standing on these floors or near them. You also cannot wall run on these walls or near them. Well, you can... For a short period, anyway. You may note that it does not go away all at once. In fact, if you jump and are in midair, it only drain it a little bit, but you kind of have to have good momentum in the first place. So you could conceivably use a little bit of your energy to get across this flooring quickly and 
get to a wall that doesn't have any of it on it and be called good. So for that matter, let's just completely ignore it for the time being and realize we're stuck with it. Second new mechanic. You have to destroy these to get rid of red barriers. Frankly, I feel like that could have been a base game mechanic. Uh, and also, combination of mechanics, so it's a good idea to maybe do this level towards the end. The, if you didn't try it before, these bounce walls will ricochet your shots. You can use that to bounce your shots around corners and uh, open the way forward. Ah, it's already starting. They are that aggressive. We're going to get into part of what is part of my least favorite mechanic in this level. And this level may eventually just get its own freaking video as a result. So, this part's not bad. I don't hate this part. But this part sure is annoying! This part is, like, almost entirely RNG to get through. Whew, made it. Because of these little fuckers. Those are like mind blasters. They will launch that round orb projectile that I loathe so, so much. <clears throat> and they will do it ad infinitum. They don't run out of ammo. Of course, I'm greedy and want an extra checkpoint. I'm glad I got it. I can get through the next part pretty easily without using a checkpoint. However, it's still nice to have backups. Because this, this part here is one long with zero platforms to stand on. Pardon me, section of wall running. And it starts off in a rather rude way. Hey, remember when I said that you can run up these briefly? Well, I f***ed that up. But you're expected to get up there. It's going to burn pretty much all your energy. And then you gotta use the infinite walls. Okay, this is the one I wanted. So, again, remember, while on these, you have infinite boost. Even if your boost gauge is zero. Take that to your advantage, but, um, remember don't exactly have a safety net right now. So bearing that in mind, you might have to p pause, stop, and uh, take a look at your surroundings to move forward. Actually, I'm not far enough. Ooh. Did I see a checkpoint? Oh, down there. Yes, <laughs> I did see a checkpoint. I am... I am aware of what that one is like. Okay, so this one, this one seems obtuse at first. You want to be like here, and you're aiming for that one there. It's a long jump, but you can make it. This challenge is great, because it teaches you just how much actual, like, momentum and speed you have while falling. And will also help teach you to um, not be so gosh out. Oh, oh. oh, I fell too fast! Damn, that's why we have safety checkpoints. It'll also help teach you how to just um, wall run properly. Because as you imagine, going out there, getting no energy, then jumping onto the wall that gives you infinite energy so long as you're touching it, means you can't make mistakes. Though you can save a little bit of energy, but it's never enough to actually do anything with it. Yellow. It really does seem like you'd fall fast enough to just slip off that, and you probably can. So, um, be patient and practice that jump a whole lot. And we're good. Impressed you're not firing at me immediately. 
So this room is meant for you to get back your energy, so that way you can use it for a challenge ahead. If you're feeling really bold, which I'm not, you can pick up a checkpoint down there. Uh, however, that is a challenge for me of a yesteryear who did that and then regretted it immensely. Yeah, that's what I figured would happen. But shiny... I mean, technically, I don't have to pick it up, but I want to. So once you're good and ready, and you've got a full bar of energy, get up here. That's probably going to cost me. Jump back to this. And then go this way. I'm going to see how much energy I can conserve. Oh, damn. Really? Are you... Man! Okay, that's rude. I have to go back and get more energy. So, the whole thing of this is just you aren't able to rest. And that's why I placed my safety checkpoint when and where I did. Because I knew what I was getting into. I know this area pretty well. It also fills me with uncontrollable rage. No, not really. I'm being a little facetious. Okay, there we go. Oh, I lucked out there. Uh, Demi, like, slid off of the wall a little bit. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, we're good. Now, for the long and trial tribulation bit. Okay, I could have made it with half a bar. And now I'm going to checkpoint! <laughs> because, as much as I like that challenge, I don't want to do it again. Because it's hard, and it's tricky, and it's technical. But this one is another hard, tricky, technical challenge. As is this. But this one's less so, because you just have to... It's, it's timing. You just have to time it out. Well, apparently I didn't time it out well. But this time you do get energy to help you... I was going to say, damn, damn me! Well, we didn't even hit the part that I flippin' hate. Well, that's dismaying. Well, that's really dismaying. <laughs> I'm like, well, this is my life now. Oh, come on, Demi. There we go. Right. I really don't want to use this checkpoint. Hell, you... Well, <laughs> I uh, had a plan, but it seems that plan fell through. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fiddlesticks! Ooh We're good! We're fine. We're not dead. Yet. I actually really appreciate that cloud built for its normal mode. Still doesn't... have a life system on these levels? Demi, thank you. There we go. Okay. And now we got more of these to contend with. Thankfully, you're not there long enough. But now, you gotta do this. Technical. This level is nothing but technical. And we are fast approaching the part that I despise with a passion this section right here welcome to the pachinko parlor everybody this section just sucks Ooh, I have even less control than I do in super cloud build that's that's something that's actually useful here so you don't regen charge well, on this, but you now have to contend with these things which are bouncing around sometimes at high speeds directly to your face. 
<sighs> and now I get to watch my body fly around for a brief moment. And you have to not die. I hate this. I hate this area so much. If there is one blemishing mark on this game, it's this area here. It is so far and away from the skill, patience, and practice that you require going through the rest of the game that it could almost be construed as an insult to this game's design. And I got bonked on the head. Bye, Demi. And bear in mind, I'm doing my hardest to get out of here as safely and quickly as possible. You do reach in a little bit of energy as you just right along here. Granted, it's not advised that that's the only source that you get energy. There's probably a real easy way through this that I just am unaware of. But regardless, this section fills me with pain. This section fills me with anger. I appreciate the concept that they use. I hate it. I really genuinely think a different and better concept could have been used here rather than frickin' Pachinko Parlor. And, well, that's my fault. Granted, almost all of this is my fault. Like, every single one of my deaths. That was my fault. Boost. There we go. And bear in mind, I forfeited my... Well, I was gonna say I did forfeit my... Ooh, that was fucked. Language mana! What? What? I saw those three orbs and I was like, well, this is an orb worth pondering, but not on a pachinko parlor. And died. Pretty sure that meme is dead by the time this video hits YouTube shelves. I was gonna say, I see that trail. I think what gets me is that there's technically a random variable at the speed that owl these. No, 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 I'm so close! kidding me. I was so close. I could taste victory. Uh, it'd be a short-lived victory because the section right after this is really, really crummy too and I don't like it. Ow. Mostly because I'm just not good at it. This, I'm sure somebody's watching this is like, oh goodness, this is... You're doing this wrong. You're not doing that. You're complaining about this when you should be complaining about that. It's like, I get it. Again. Ow. Enthused amateur at this game. I love this game with a passion. And I'm not a pro. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this section. I hate it with such a passion. I recently did. And by recently, I mean relatively speaking. A playthrough of Super Cloud Built where I went through every level again just for shits and giggles. Uh, language. Uh, just for funsies, basically. And I swear, this level ate through like a hundred lives alone. And it's because of this section. Let's 
massive that. Ow! I now realize that it's not the best place to sit. There we go. Okay. Whew. One of the few times holding down shift is the smart thing to do. Now, this section is a gauntlet, and you're not allowed your boost. There is supposedly a way that you can go around this section and not deal with what's on in the on the inside. I have no idea how you could do that. But I imagine it's got something to do with the ground I'm currently standing on. Because remember, you only start losing energy when you're on that. So I'm going to do something. I'm going to try something for once. Well, that's not how you do that. Alright. Failure. So this is why I don't like this section. Wow. Okay, so they augmented his defenses. Oh, you. We're out of the pachinko parlor, though. This does not fill me with nearly as much rage. I'm, mis I'm mistiming that. necessarily super useful right now. I'm attempting to do a thing. But the reason I don't necessarily like that section too terribly much is just how much crap you gotta put up with. Oh, if I can, I'd love that. Okay, so remember... This wall will actively drain your energy. Okay, we're good. I could probably actually use that to help get around this, but you know what? I want a checkpoint, like, here for the moment. This is not the best place to put this checkpoint, admittedly. But I don't want to go through that again. Uh, actually... I just completely skipped that hellhole in there. Alright, cool. So, the next challenge after that. I'm gonna deal with you. You see that right there? You have to time your shot. Preferably not die. So that way, you hit it. Hit that green wall. Bear in mind, you still take fall damage. This way you... Uh-oh. I was going to say, that's going to kill me. Alright, well, I did this the first time, so... I may as well do it again. Well, this is interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Whew, okay. Okay. What you're supposed to do, you're supposed to time your shot to blow that up, which will open the barrier over here. Got it. You're kidding me. Well, I am, I'm restarting then. And then from there... God, that's so much easier. So it is a good thing I checkpoint over there. Let's see if I can do this in one. Not like that. Generally, if you don't manipulate the momentum, you'll be okay. But you want to manipulate it somewhat. Got it. 
wall, Demi. Don't hit that. Right. Now we want to get in here. Oh, what the fl-doodle. Because as you can see, inside here, where you're not allowed to wall boost at all, that's what deploys those little, like, homing missile thingamadoodads. Is you get energy. Keep in mind, again, remember, as long as your feet aren't touching that, you retain your energy. Our objective is above us. Made it! Woo! Expectations. I conquered my demons! That is the one level in this game that I am terrified of. Like, no, seriously. That level always takes so long for me. I doubt going down this path will lead to any answers. I have so many questions. Doubts, fears, regrets. If I continue to focus on them, I think I can see where it would end. Looking at this from another perspective, it almost seems like I'm disappointed in this world. I didn't think that would be possible. I thought I didn't have any expectations to begin with, but maybe I did. Maybe I expected to get answers. In the end, this world is just a tool. I can see that now. It's not meant to give me answers. Sometimes, just asking the question can be enough. Okay, cool. Whew! Uh, and I just realized, as I was doing these endings, the hub here has been changing slightly, worryingly so. I doubt going down this path will lead to any answers. I have so many questions, doubts, fears, regrets. If I continue to focus on them, I think I can see where it would end. Looking at this from another perspective, it almost seems like I'm disappointed in this world. I didn't think that would be possible. I thought I didn't have any expectations to begin with, but maybe I did. Maybe I expected to get answers. In the end, this world is just a tool. I can see that now. It's not meant to give me answers. Sometimes, just asking the question can be enough. Indeed, Demi. Well, we are defying everything, and we've unlocked one more level. We're not quite done with the Defiance route. What we have just unlocked is the final level in the Defiance DLC, Chains. And in order to defy everything that this world has laid out before us, we need to break the chains that bind us. But... I went about 30 minutes. Thanks, expectations! <laughs> God, I f***ing hate that level. But me saying I hate that level out of all of this, and considering how much I like this game, is me literally saying this is my least favorite dish at this Michelin-starred restaurant. But now it's going to be time for something very meaty, very challenging, and is a true... Final test of everything you've learned throughout Cloud Built and the Defiance DLC. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually a little excited. But we're gonna have to say that for next video. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a like and comment down below. I read those. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that way you don't miss when I post a new video. With that said, please remember... You are always welcome here at Mana's Potion. And I will see you next time.